everyone and welcome back to my channel so in today's video I am going to show you what is in our baby's changing bag I find these really interesting just seeing what kinds of things people pack in their changing bags so I thought I would just show you what we have in ours so first of all we have the silver cross which you can't see because the mat's in the way but the silver cross changing bag this came with our pram we've got the silver cross pursuit um in this grey colour and this is what came. We didn't actually use this bag to start off with but we've been using it for a couple of weeks now and we love it. It is brilliant, it's got loads of compartments so I'm just gonna get into it and just show you what we've got inside. First of all we have these two pockets on the front and in this pocket I have my sunglasses and I either chuck sometimes my purse or keys in there just so they're convenient and easy and then in the second pocket we have a changing mat which again is the silver cross it's velcro you open it up like this I always like to take a changing mat with us just because I know a lot of places obviously have changing units but they can be a bit dirty and cold and hard so just having something that you know is yours has your smell is clean and is a bit softer for your baby to get changed on also obviously if you're out and about and you have a bit of an emergency and you just need to change them where, wherever you are or on the back of the car it's always handy to have one there's also a pocket on the back which is good for like snacks and stuff like that or again keys but we currently have nothing in there so you unzip and then this is what it looks like to start with. You have a compartment, you have two compartments here, a big compartment at the back and then two little side ones and then it's a big open space in the middle. So straight away we have my purse on the top. I literally don't take a handbag anywhere now, all I do is put my purse and things in the baby's bag because it is so much easier. And then secondly we have a little toy. Jasper is now really into his toys. He quite likes having things hanging from his pram or hanging from the car seat. So if we're going anywhere where he, we're out and about, I always make sure we've got a spare one either in the bag if there's not one on his car seat. He really is loving these LeMay's ones. This is a Tommy LeMay's. We actually just got this second hand um, because they actually retail quite expensive, but I can understand why because they are amazing. They've got, they rattle, mirrors, crinkle, all sorts of sensory stuff they do but I do recommend just buying them secondhand and giving them a wash but he particularly loves this one then in the two back compartments here which I'm pointing to I have a big old wedge of nappies these are the Audi size 2 nappies we've recently started using the Audi ones we were using Pampers before but I was finding he was having quite a lot of poo explosions in the Pampers ones but it wasn't seeming to go actually in the bottom, it was just going straight up his back. We tried different size, we like put them up the size and again, we're still using some of them but we've been really, really loving these Audi ones and they've been really highly recommended. So I always have a big stack of these in there but they sort of say just have one per hour that you are out. Then in the little compartment here, next to it is where is a lot of the other changing things. So we have a pack of water wipes here I also have nappy sacks and we have a little bepanthum here as well so if I know I'm changing him literally everything I need to change him is just in those two back compartments and we've got the changing mat on the front I also have a spare pair of wipes here these are the Pampers Pure these are aqua 99% water with organic cotton zero alcohol perfume and we also really like these these are very similar to the water wipes where they are quite wet and they they're really um, they wipe really well and also I like the fact that it's got a clippy lid because it really seals it whereas some of those ones the lids just go and they end up drying out so we also have a spare one of those then in the two little side compartments on each side of the bag here, I have in one of them, I don't actually know, oh, I have a spare baby grow here, which I don't actually think I need in there because we've got spare clothing, but there we go. And then I also have um, 
his like medical things. So sometimes we'll have cowpole in there if he's feeling under the weather, but we currently have his cowpole saline nasal drops because he's been a bit congested. So I just make sure I always pack these, this with us wherever we go as well. So wherever we are, if he gets a bit congested, we've got one of those. There's also a hand, anti-hand bacteria in there and a little pseudocreme in there as well so you've got extra things for the bum and obviously keeping your hands nice and clean when you're changing and feeding and all sorts and then in the other pocket i just have a more a few more things for like us so i've got a little pack of tissues for us if we need and i also just carry a little roll-on perfume for myself as well i could put my phone in there whatever is more just for like me and dan sometimes we can put mints in there or whatever really also in with uh, where I keep the anti handbag and stuff, I always have a bib. This is just one um, from the Billy Fayers range or from Asda. But yeah, we keep a bib. He's always wearing one at the moment because he is so dribbly. But always keep a spare bib or two in that little compartment as well. And then in the main bit here that you can see is where we keep the spare wipes. And we also just keep our muslin cloth. So at the moment we have three, oh, three muslin cloths. As you can see, I normally keep them rolled up. This grey one is a bum muslin cloth. So I don't like Jasper to have a wet bum when he's having a clean nappy on. So once I wipe him and clean it him, I always give him a good dry off before putting his new nappy on so that he's not all wet and damp. So grey is always a bum one. And then these two are just either sicky ones, dribble ones, or feeding ones. So these are just two basic like Primark ones. And I also tend to keep in there my big Aiden and Anais swaddle cloth as well, just for extra coverage when feeding if needed. Or it's quite nice to just have it as like a little blanket if we go anywhere and want to like lie him down on the floor, those sort of things. We also keep a blanket in there as well just for it's a bit warmer at the moment but I always like to keep a cellu blanket in there just in case it gets a bit chilly or again for him to lie on the floor and then in the last back compartment here is just clothing so again we have a spare little dribble bib there we also have a spare t-shirt vest a little pair of leggings and then I also have, and then I also have a sleep suit all in one here. So basically we just have outfits for any kind of poo explosion. If it's a bit colder or you just want him to be comfy, we have um, an all in one. Or if it's a bit warmer and you just want him to be quite chilled, then we've just got like t-shirt vest and a pair of leggings. And then I also always keep in here as well, but... I clearly don't at the moment, a little pair of socks or a hat as well. If it's the summertime, we tend to have, if it's warmer, we tend to have like the summer type hat or it's colder, we always keep a spare winter hat as well. Yeah, that is everything that is in our changing bag. Just all the basics. We don't try to overpack it because it just ends up becoming like a handbag where it ends up being full of rubbish. But whatever he needs, I check it every day or every evening before we go to bed. If I'm going out somewhere the next day, I make sure I check it. Uh, Dan is also very good at stocking it up as well. We always check for nappies and things like that. It lives downstairs next to our caddy, which has things in so we can always grab spare nappies to put them in. But yeah, that is what we keep in our changing bag. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up for me and leave me a comment down below what is essential for your changing bags, depending on the age of your children. Jasper is three months old, so at the moment we don't need to worry about snacks and toys, but let me know what you've got in yours for your age groups to know what I've got to come. But yeah, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and do not forget to hit subscribe before you go as well. And thank you for watching. Bye.